A DNA molecule is formed of two strands of DNA nucleotides linked together by complementary base pairing. Note that the DNA nucleotides in the sugar phosphate backbone are joined by a condensation reaction and the complementary base pairs in the middle are joined by hydrogen bonding. Now in DNA, guanine always pairs with cytosine and adenine always pairs with thymine. You can see in the diagram that there are three hydrogen bonds between G and C, while there are only two hydrogen bonds between A and T. The new syllabus states that students are not required to memorize the number of hydrogen bonds, but it may be of interest to you. Notice that the two strands that make up the DNA go in opposite directions, so they are said to be anti-parallel. These two strands then coil up to form a helix, so DNA is said to be a double helix. If you were drawing a diagram of DNA, you are not expected to show the helical structure.